Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to the new video on the casual racing game. But today we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna figure out if this comment at the end of this race was meant for me. And I want to get your guys' opinion on it. Um, it was a move that happened at the end, and I, I don't he he didn't address it to who he was actually saying it to, but I, I have a feeling it was me. Um, so we're gonna watch the race, we're gonna analyze it, and I want you guys to let me know if you think my move was uh was was dirty or clean um i want i want your real opinion on it and i'll give you my opinion on it but right now we are starting this is at brands hash this was um group four daily race daily race um c so it's a longer race 11 laps no um no pinning strategy nothing that we're just running a straight 11 lap race here starting middle of the pack middle of the pack leaves um so a lot of different things happen when you're in the middle of the pack. You know, you're, you're, you're with a lot of cars and you really have to analyze what's going on around you. Um, you know, seeing where you can make moves up, hopefully not falling too far back. But, um, you know, you know, the, the further back you start, the less spots you have to fall back as opposed to starting up in the front where you want to kind of stay up there in the front and you run a little more aggressively, I think. I think when you're mid pack, you can you can chill a little bit more and just move up any one, one, two cars um, in the end, I think is actually a good finish. You know, I, when I start middle of the pack, I'm not looking for a top three. Um, top five is, is usually even out of reach, starting in a P9 and, and further back. But, you know, obviously things can happen and, and, you know, you can take advantage of that if cars, a lot of cars in front of you make mistakes. But generally, you know, you're thinking the cars in front are going are gonna to be running a little better where they're not going to make as many mistakes. So, um, again, moving up a spot or two is good for me. Moving even back a spot or two, I'm okay with. I'll, I'll give up spots if I need to moving back, um, especially in the beginning of the race. I'm not going to battle too hard in the beginning. I'm going to establish a good pace, see how cars are running, um, analyze how the cars are running in front of me, how what I see in my mirror, what's going on behind me, and how close cars are running to me that are behind me. But um, I'm always analyzing the cars that are in front of me. I'm always seeing how well they're driving, if they're driving close to each other, how well are they driving close to each other? Are they being aggressive with each other? Is there a lot of bumping? Is, are, they, are they like um, run, running good like front to back and, and, act, and actually like no one's trying to punt anyone off purposely? Obviously, when you're running that close to a car in front of you, um, different braking zones, you're always risking hitting the car in front of you, not on purpose, accidentally. And, and I know I do it and I know a lot of you guys probably do it as well. So, you know, you want to know how good you can run with the car in front of you. Obviously, if you're going to run really close to the car in front of you, you need you need to be able to to really smooth into your brake and not and not, you know, think about your brake markers and hitting brake your brake markers hard because the car in front of you might have different spots where they brake. So, you know, slowing down and, and giving that space coming into coming into turns is very very important for not punting the car in front of you. And especially in the beginning of a race when we're, you know, here we're at lap 2 of 11. Um, we're not running too aggressive here, so we don't need to be bumper, bumper to hood. Um, but we want to keep all the cars in front of us in our sight. We want to be close to them because we want to take advantage of mistakes, which means we have to run consistent, good laps, stay clean, don't spin out, don't overdrive, just be there for, for, for mistakes that can happen. And if you're faster than the cars in front of you, um, you know, by all means, go for, go for the moves when you can make it. But Decide where you're going to make that pass. I, I think a lot of cars make the mistake of just seeing, you know, I can catch this car now. I'm going to make the pass, not thinking if it's a good spot to make a pass. Um, if you can catch the car in front of you and you're faster, you know, you're going to catch the car in front of you because you're faster. You just need to decide where to make that move. I think a lot of cars make moves in the wrong spots. And it's not that the other car is purposely trying to wreck you. You're just trying to make a move where you might not, shouldn't be making that move. And it just causes the other car to wreck you. Again, not on purpose. We have a car spin out there. So we move up a spot into P8. You know, again, just mistakes of other cars will help us move up. So P8, we have J17 Turismo in P7. And right behind us, we have Slade Wilson in P9. Um, P7, you know, in our sight, um, not, not, um, not too far away. We have, we can see six, five, and four in front of him as well. So any car you have in your sight and you can see, um, th those are cars that, that you're looking, I'm always looking at those cars in my sight that I say, you know, I have a chance to actually catch them, but not if you run off the road like that. Now, a big thing with running off the road is make sure you keep control of your car if you run off the road. Um, if, if, if you're too aggressive and you just start slamming on your, throttle and you try to get back on the road quickly 
is when you're gonna spin your car and you're gonna have problems. So always take a chill, ease back. Um, if you run off the road, just, just worry about getting grip on your car. And then once you have that grip, you know, then get back to the road. I think a lot of cars end up spinning themselves out because they're too aggressive when they fall off or they really turn that wheel to try to count to steer where the car is going. Um, I like to usually just, if I run off the, off the um, road, I kind of just like to let my car Oh, good move there by P10, by the way. Russo gave me a little bump, went on the inside. I think it was a clean bump. It was a good move. He, he had room on the inside. It wasn't like we were running tight, and, and he took the advantage of it, and he, he made a good move. So um, even, even though there was some contact, I think it was a good pass. So good move for Russo for taking over P10. I dropped the P11. Obviously, I don't want to pull, pull back more than here. So I'm two spots back from my P9. So now, now I, I don't want to pull back. Like I said, I usually like to look for either two forward or I'm okay going two back maybe. Um, anything more than that, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a little more sad. But I got to focus on coming in front. So what I was saying is when you run that car off, I usually like to just let my wheel do its thing. I usually release the throttle and just let it roll until it gets grip and then get back on the road. Um, the biggest thing is keeping control of your car when you run off the track that you can get back on the track without losing too much too much ground from the cars in front of you. If you spin your car, then you're done, right? If you spin your car, everyone's going to pass you. So here I was able to actually, you know, drive off the road there and still stay with the cars that pass me. So they're still in reach for me to pass them back. Um, obviously, they're starting further back in the grid. So I should be able, you know, generally you're thinking the further back they are, you know, you should be able to usually run faster laps than them, right? So, you know, those are cars that you can possibly catch and pass because you did start more forward um, in front of them in the grid. So you did have a better qualifying time. So they are cars that, that you should be able to and, and might be able to catch. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes they just run better better, um, better race laps than you um, because qualifying and race laps are two different things. So we're going to settle here. We're in P11. Lot, lots of cars. Everyone's close. If you saw all the way back to P14, um, we're all close. So that means, you know, a mistake on my, on my part gives up 12, 13, and 14 to pass me. And that really drops me back. But there you can see um, running off the road is P11. So we take our P10 here. So we, we took our spot back from him. And, and again, it's the little mistakes. You just want to be close to the cars in front of you to take advantage of those mistakes. As long as you're close enough for, for, to take advantage of a, of a little move like that or a little slip or, or a little you know car loses grip on, on his back end or something like that, you just want to be close enough to be able to pass them so P9, we're running pretty close to P9. We have um, how far, you know, P11 is, is we're, we're pulling a, a, a little further away from P11. So anytime we could pull a little further away from the car and back, we're always in better shape. Um, I'm, I'm always more concerned about the cars behind me than the cars in front of me. So we, we're pulling up to P9 here pretty close. Russo already took over. Um, he's only one spot behind us. And he was the one that, that, that run off, ran off the road before. So he's in um, P11. Here we have, um, we're going, um, running pretty close now with, with, with P8 here. So we're going to come in to P1. I'm, I'm going to give him the outside. I'm going to have to, you know, make sure I break enough to come on the inside without, you know, shooting him off the road and coming into turn two. I'm going to give him his space. I know I caught him. I know I caught him once. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to catch him again. It's in my head. You know, if I'm able to catch him there. I didn't want to make the moves in turn one. I, I had to. I had to lay off. Again, I'm thinking. You know, lap six of eleven. It's a long race. Do I take something aggressively and risk us taking myself out as well as another car? Or I just break a little earlier, come to the inside, and let him pull ahead, and then we just battle at another spot. I'm always thinking. Let's battle somewhere else. Let, let's um. Let, let let you have to think where you're at, and and. Is it worth the battle here or, or do I battle somewhere else? It's not worth the battle in turn one for me. Um, I, I think I think you're, you're risking a lot driving off the road there or bumping someone else. And once you spin out over there, it's, it, it, your car just like loses total control. So we're catching really close here. We have, um, we're in P7 now. So we're, 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 we're moving up. We're moving up, right guys? We're moving up in the world here. So here we go. We have P, P look in P6. And um, running behind us is is Russo in P8. Um, now P8 was just changed again to violent, or violent. So let's see, um, let's see what, what what's going to happen now. Lap seven of eleven. 
and um, a couple more laps. Again, we still have a lot of laps left. A lot of things can change, but just like that, you saw going back from a P11 and already I'm back to a P7. You know, that that's, I'm, I'm happy now, right? I, I'm already in, in two spots ahead of my, my, my starting point when I actually fell back to a P11 um, with a bad move running off, off course. And, and, I, and I was able to come back to a P7. That's what we want to do. We want to keep calm. We want, we want to be patient. And we just want to not take ourselves mentally out of the race, right? A lot of times we'll mentally take ourselves out of the race. People fall back. You know, you're thinking P11 and your whole racing, um, you, your whole racing, every decision you make changes because you think you're in a rush to get back to where you are because you fell back places and you're not happy. Um, my thing is always stay calm. Just keep running your race. If, if you can move up places, that's fine. But if you start driving worse, you're going to start moving back places. And we don't, we don't want to move back places. We only want to be concerned about moving forward. And the only way you can do that is, is to um, just keep running your consistent good laps, no matter what happens, no matter how far back you fall. So we're running P7 here. Um, we're kind of in the middle of, of nowhere right now. P6 is, is pretty ahead. P8, we have a nice, nice lead on P8. So, so we're, we're running, um, we're kind of running in the middle of the middle, of, middle of two cars here with, with a lot of room. So let's, um, let's jump ahead a little bit when we, when we get a little more closer with some cars now. So here you can see, um, P8 violent is definitely closer to me now. He got some ground on me. So, um, we are on lap nine of 11. Um, he is definitely, um, catching some ground. P6 is pretty far ahead. So P6 is kind of out of my out of my reach so my focus here is to try to hold on to a p7 with um p8 right on my tail obviously if the battle gets um if he gets closer and we start battling you know that's a decision you need to make of how hard you want you want to battle for that spot or risk falling back too far um i'm willing to give up a p8 if i need to with with two more laps to go um if he gets a little closer and he gets aggressive and if he has a lot more speed than me but let's see what happens what unfolds here because p P9 is a little further back. So, you know, if I give up P8, I'm still feeling good about a P8 finish. Um, I don't want to, anything to risk here and lose a P8. But even if I fall back to a P9, it's my starting position. Um, so you don't gain, you don't lose. But, you know, with um, P8 on our tail here, obviously, you know, in my mirror, that, that's what I'm looking at. That's what I'm watching. But I'm still trying to just run my consistent consistent lines, run, run, run consistent laps just do my thing if he catches me he catches me and then we'll worry about if he if he pulls close um what we're gonna do so we're pulling in um you know lap 10 of 11 the race is coming to a close pretty soon so p8 gonna try to take the inside he does take it he took the inside i had to, i had to break up there um just to avoid from actually you know knocking him off i, I obviously wanted the inside line he took it so i had to kind of check up there um, and, and kind of give it to him the way he the way he um, got in there, but um, he took over P P7. We dropped to P8. There you see um, something happened there with P with with um, with one with with the other P P6. I guess was at his point there where he drops down. So we're still staying in a P7 right now. Um, we moved up a spot because that other car had um, taken himself out. P look, I think it was. So now moving up to p6 we overtook p7 um and then you know we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna be battling here we're gonna be coming into the final lap soon and um this is this is where all the magic is gonna happen right final lap is when you you know you kind of want to hold on to your spot not give up anything um too much but um you know we obviously know p7 can catch us p8 p9 everyone p10 we're all close now um there's a, there's a lot of cards um, coming into it's coming coming in here to the last lap um, and that's usually not the position you want to be in with so many cars on your tail you really have to run this lap pretty good pretty clean um, and, and not give up too much if you want to you know have a good finish you know people cars are gonna really be coming at you on this last lap so here we go guys let's see what happens here last lap 11 of 11 p6 can I hold on to p6 <clears throat> you know violent right there really close behind me um, but just I'm trying to keep my, my, my distance ahead from him. And, and, you know, a P6 finish starting in a P9 is a really, really good finish for me. So I really want to hold on to this P6 spot. And, you know, how hard we're going to battle if he gets close, you know, is a decision you have to make depending on where you are on the track. 
and and the line that you have um, coming down the straight. We still, you know, hoping not to give up too much too much ground. He doesn't hopefully pull too close to us here. That running down the straight. Um, I, I'm still feeling like I have a nice a nice lead over him, but. <clears throat> Here we go, guys. This is where it's going to get pretty, pretty, pretty tight here. Um, very close to me. He's on my bumper now. He is going to stay on my bumper. Stay behind me. Going to try to pull on the inside and this move right here. This is the only thing I can think of that that upset him here. And let me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go back here and we're actually gonna we're gonna watch this from a couple different angles. So let's watch this from 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 our um from from our view from behind our car here. Okay. So we're coming into this right hander. Now my line is to come up to up to up to the right to take this next left, right? Right now my car is ahead of his car. And again, the line is to come up to the right to come into this left hander. I obviously have him cleared here. So um you know, I'm driving straight up. I'm not going to stop here. There's no car to my inside here. So as we come up, I'm coming up. As you can see here, he's trying to pull in a spot that's not really there. So, uh, you know, and again, I don't know if his comment was meant to me. I'm thinking it was it was meant to me based on this move here as he's coming up here. And like, uh, this is my line. I'm not going to give him the spot. He didn't have me cleared. So I think it's up to him to break check here and fall behind and not try to overtake me on the outside here. Because what happens here, if he tries to take me on the outside, again, my line is up there which means I have to come to the inside. I'm already coming at full throttle here. If I try to break now coming into this left-hander, I am totally going to miss my breaking marker probably coming in here because it has to be sooner now than later. And I'll probably end up throwing him off the track if that if that's the case, if I have to now try to take it on the inside. So again, my line is coming to the top, staying on the, on the right side of the track, coming into this left hander and again you know we're racing in vr we're racing in different views my, my my head is seeing in front of me seeing where the track is there is no car on my right side he is behind me so i think this is my line right here as we come up you know a little bump i didn't give him the spot so we come here he comes into me we we make our turn um and to me um i i, I think that was a clean move i don't know what else he would have said that to which i i again i think that was meant to me um, as I come in here at a P6, he ends up finishing a P7. So I, I, that's why, I, you know, if something happened behind me, I thought maybe someone took him out behind me, um, but he finished P7. So I, I don't think I did anything wrong there. I, I think my move was totally clean. Um, I went to my line. He was behind me. He did not have me cleared. And I think had, I had the right of way to take that line on, on, on the top right of that, of coming into that left-hander. But I'm curious what you guys think. Um, leave it in the comments below. But I had a P6 finish, and that was a good day for me. I was kind of happy starting from a P9. So I had no complaints here. But guys, let me know in the comments. Um, also, thumb up the video. Subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. We out of here. Peace.